Hello you guys, welcome back to my channel. If you're new here, my name is Emily Freibler. In today's video, I am reviewing the Lux Air Pro 2. This is supposed to be a very, very similar product to the Dyson Airwrap, and I'm so excited to share it with you guys. If you're new here, my name is Emily Freibler, and I upload new videos every single week on affordable beauty and fashion, so I hope you'll subscribe and give this video a thumbs up if you enjoy it, and let's go ahead and get started with this review. Okay, so I was gifted this product by the Lux team, and I was so excited to review this for you guys because the Dyson Airwrap is like, a cult following. There are so many people trying to get their hands on it. It sells out like crazy. It's very expensive. And I wanted to review a very similar product for you guys. So when they reached out, I totally jumped on it. I was very excited to do this for you guys. So obviously my hair is done right now from this product and I really, really like the results. So if that tells you anything. Um, so this product is half the price of the Dyson Air App. The Lux Air Pro 2 is $300 or $299, whereas the Dyson is $599. Now I've never used the Dyson Air App, so I can't compare the two, but I will say the attachments are very, very similar. So what you get is a base like so with a cord and then you get all of the attachments that go on it first off you get the regular hair dryer and i'm going to be um adding clips of me using all of these into this video as well so this is the regular like pre styling dryer so you use this to basically dry your hair a good amount you, i would maybe say 70 80 percent and this has some good power to it it's not like the strongest hair dryer it doesn't really compare I would say to like my shark but it has some good power to it and it's going to dry your hair fairly quickly especially because you don't have to dry it all the way that is the perk of this is all of these styling um, brushes and curling pieces you don't have to dry your hair all the way before you use them. So it's going to save you time in the long run because you're not having to dry your hair all the way before styling. So I feel like that's part of the appeal for this. So this is the dryer and you do it like so. When you're using this, it has all of these buttons here. This is the power button and you hold it until it starts basically and same thing for when it stops. So hold the button down, it'll start stop and then hold it down and it'll stop um this is the cool shot button right here and then right here you have the fan button and it has three levels one two and three and then the heat button that has levels one two and three so you can make it as hot or as cool as you would like so to take on and off the attachments you push this button and you twist and then it pops off and so to put it on same thing twist and goes on um, so they're really easy to take on and off. It does include a glove for you if you want to wear this, especially when you're doing the curling attachment. I personally didn't use it for that, but I do use it even just like this <laughs> to take on and off the attachments because I like to exchange them, especially the curling barrels, um, and they get really hot. Obviously, you're applying heat to your hair. Okay, next is the smoothing brush. So this is basically going to be a brush to smooth out your hair to kind of like straighten it that kind of thing so it has these nice flexible bristles here and it's going to you know straighten your hair pretty straightforward here but I do like the brush attachment attachment for using this it's not um I will say one thing is it doesn't create that a ton of tension when you're using it so I kind of really had to you know go through and use it um I will say my favorite attachments out of these obviously are the curling ones uh, because that's why I wanted to use it, to be honest. That's what the hype is about. And the other favorite attachment of mine is this round brush. This is so cool, you guys, especially for those front pieces of your hair. So this is the round volumizing brush and this is how you could get a super awesome, just like blowout look. I mean, this is kind of like a blowout look as well, but I love, love, love this for these front pieces of my hair. And I really like round brushed these and then 
then it just like gave the nice like kind of swoopy like bang look or whatever with a ton of volume which I loved so especially for the front pieces of my hair I love 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 this attachment you can use it through your whole head to get a lot of volume especially like back here and I just love the fact that the air is literally going all throughout this so it's a really easy to way to get a blowout without having like your hair dryer and a round brush and you're doing both at the same time it's like a really easy um attachment to you now let's get into the stars of the show the curling wands so these are really nice because they are longer barrels um i do have not like super long hair but i mean it's a good length and these my hair has no problem with um when i'm like wrapping them around so you get two um sets one that goes one that goes this way and one that goes the other way so how i do this you will see in the video there's two ways to use these okay same thing when you put them on you click them in and rotate and it'll click to go in place this one technically would go around this way so I would use it away from my face like this if I were to use it straight up and down here so some of the videos you will see for like the Dyson or even the Lux advertisements and stuff they take a piece of hair which I give a demo like this they take a piece of hair and they start at the ends and then it wraps around and then it goes and it coils up that's one way to use this product. I personally have issues with that just in the sense of um, I have to use smaller pieces on my hair and then also it just kind of is harder to get the hang of. Um, it doesn't necessarily always wrap around super quickly, which I'm okay with, like why fuss with it, you know? So I use basically the opposite barrel because I flip it upside down. Does that make sense? Because now if it goes away from my face on this side and I flip it upside down, it's gonna go away from my face on this side. So how I like to do it is use it like a traditional curling iron in the sense of I, like I'll show you clips of this, but I literally wrap it around the barrel. And at first I was like, does that defeat the pro like the, the point of everything? But no, the whole point of it is this is literally air wrapping around the barrel to dry your hair as well as style it all in one so it's not like it's defeating the purpose by any means so all i do is wrap it around the barrel here hold the ends and again this could be why you want to use the glove if you're holding the end of your hair there and then i just release it and you can turn the um like the blower or the heat on and off as you're doing that. Um, that's kind of how I prefer to do it just because it's easier than I don't have like hair flying around everywhere while I'm like trying to grab another section. One thing is with using these, I will say use smaller sections. I mean, not like super, super small, but like about an inch section because if you go too thick of sections and your hair is still pretty damp, you're going to struggle like actually drying it. So I still leave it on there for maybe like 20 seconds just to make sure it gets nice and dry or and hot as well because you want to keep, you know, the heat is what's going to hold the curl. Um, and then I just like let it go and I don't touch it. I don't touch it until I do my whole head. Everything's cool. Throw on some hairspray. And then for this style, I just like shook my head upside down. I didn't rake my fingers through. The video that I sh will show you here, I did rake my fingers through and it does give you a little bit like looser curls as well. So there's a couple different ways you can use this. You could alternate styles if you want. You could do some up and down like this, some straight forward like this. So you're alternating back and forth. You could do smaller sections, you can do bigger sections. I feel like I do a little bit bigger sections cause I like the kind of like big curl moment and I just think it looks so, so pretty. Anyway, that's kind of like all about the features of this. Like I said, it's literally half the price. It's $2.99. I don't have a discount code right now, but I might get one in the future for you guys. I'm trying to get a discount code because obviously it is affordable compared to the Dyson, but still an investment. Um, it's a great hair dryer. I think it dries very quickly, like I said, and I just love the fact that you can get these curls with like a hair dryer and not an actual 
curling iron. Um, so pretty cool. You get five attachments for one product as well. I guess four attachments technically because two were the same curling iron type of product. That's it for this video. I hope you guys enjoyed it. I will link this product down below for you guys so you can shop it if you want. And that's it. And I will see you guys in a video very, very soon. Bye guys.